Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Stephen, and today I'll be reading Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter 11. Now the apostles and brethren who were in Judea heard that the Gentile had also received the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, those of the uncircumcision contented with him, saying, You went into a circumcised man and ate with them. But Peter explained it to them in order from the beginning, saying, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in the trance I saw a vision and an object descending like a great sheet led down from heaven by four corners, and it came to me. When I observed it intently and considered, I saw four footed animals of the earth, wild beasts, creeping things, and birds of the air. And I heard a voice saying to me, Rise, Peter, kill it, eat. But I said, No, not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean has any time entered my mouth. But a voice answered me again from heaven, What God has cleansed you, you must not call a common. Now this was done three times, and all were drawn up again into heaven. At that very moment, thirty men stood before the house where I had been seen, sent to me from Caesarea. Then the Spirit told me to go with them, doubting nothing more. But these six brethren accompanied me when he entered the man's house, and he saw us, how he had seen an angel standing in his door, who said to them, "Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter, who will tell you words by which you and your household will be saved." And as I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them, as upon all at the beginning then i remembered the word of the lord now he said john indeed baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the holy spirit if therefore god gave them the same gift as he gave us when we believe on the lord jesus christ who was that i that i could understand with things withstand god when they heard these things they became silent and they glorified god saying then God had also granted to the Gentiles repentance to life. Now those who were scattered after the persecution that arose over Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but the Jews only. But some of them were men from Cyprus and Cyrene, who when they had come to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists, preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number believed and turned to the Lord. And news of those things came to the end, to the ears of the churches in Jerusalem, as they sent out Barnabas to go far as Antioch, when they had came, seeing the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them at all that with purpose of heart they should continue with the Lord. For he was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and of faith, and a great many people were added to the Lord. And Barnabas departed for Tarshish to seek souls. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were called Christian in Antioch. And in these days, prophets came from Jerusalem to Antioch. Then one, one of them named Agabus stood up and showed up the spirit that there was going to be a great famine throughout all the world, which also happened in the days of Claudius, Caesar, then the disciples, each according to his ability, determined to send relief for the brethren dwelling in Judea. This is and sent it to the elders by hand of Barnabas and Saul. Acts chapter 11, see you in Acts chapter 12.